What is going on Dream Crew family? Welcome back to the underdog season. For today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at my entire Jordan collection. You're probably wondering, Kais, why do you do so many collection videos? And that's just because your boy got a lot of sneakers. No, but really I like to separate my shoes sometimes and just put more focus to one brand or one type of sneaker. Before we move any forward though, a message from me giving a message from our sponsor. Guys, I gotta give a huge shout out to Squarespace because Squarespace is the official sponsor of today's video. Squarespace is the best place to make websites. The building tools to the analytics make it so easy to build and run your own website. We're going to talk about Squarespace a little bit more, but for now, let's get back to the video. All right, so now we're back. To start off this collection video, it's only right that we show a brand new pair of shoes in the Jordan collection that I haven't shown you guys before. These sneakers literally arrived today. So we're going to start my Jordan collection video off with these. With these. With these. We got the new Fire Red Jordan 5s. Now these dropped early on the sneakers app. They are coming out very, very soon, but they dropped them early on the sneakers app the day that they aired the first episode of the Bulls series, The Last Dance. I was unable to get them, but Mina also had her phone on her. So I was like, yo, can you get me a size 10? And she took a W. So Mina took a W on these on the sneakers app. So shout out to Wifey for copping these for me. And I am so excited because this is such a classic, classic Jordan colorway sneaker in the history of Jordan. Jordan. They even added little details like the Nike Air on the box on both sides. Usually there's like a little Jumpman right there. Still kept the Jumpman on the top because that's how it goes. And yeah, we're just going to quickly open these up because this video is not just about this shoe. It's about all the Jordans in my collection, but this is just the newest one. And here they are. These smell so good. Such a legendary shoe in the history of Jordan. Like he actually played in this colorway, which is, is so dope. Of course we got, what is this? A shin guard? Of course you got the 3M tongue. And of course we got the Nike Air on the back. So beautiful. So guys, I'm super happy to add this to the Jordan collection. Now let's get upstairs and check out the rest of my Jordans. Let's do let's it. Do it. Let's do it. We are back in the sneaker room ready to show you guys the entire Jordan collection We're not gonna be showing you guys the Jordan ones because we already made a separate video for that But I'm gonna show you one Jordan one that was not included in that video It was a recent pickup the court purple Jordan ones. This is one of the newest releases from Jordan brand I was able to get these through soul steel shout out to the soul steel family for holding me down as always I'm actually gonna be teaming up very very soon to do a giveaway It's gonna be on a pair of Travis Scott sneakers. That's not even released yet. So you do the math and one more recent pickup that I probably unboxed, I think my last video, is the Do The Right Thing 4s. This is actually a woman's release, which I didn't realize that until after I bought them. But these are pretty solid. I really do like this colorway. It looks super good on feet. I think I'm gonna hold on to these. These are pretty dope. All right, now getting to the sneaker wall. As always, anytime I do a collection video or I'm up here, people always ask, Kais, what are your crates? What, what's your display? Guys, these are the Crep Protect crates. I always mention them. I always shout them out you guys know i'm a crep protect brand ambassador so basically no, too close. Too close, yeah. We'll start from the top over here. First and foremost, we got the Ray Allen Jordan 13s. I've told you guys the story about these. This is a player exclusive. I've heard rumors that this colorway is coming out again. Like, I don't know why they do this to me. It's like, ah, it's a haunting story. But yeah, this is the Ray Allen 13. As you guys can see, we got the Ray Allen logo right there. But the most important thing about this shoe is the signature on the toe. I was able to get these signed when I actually hosted a Ray Allen thing that they had at a sneaker con so I was able to host it and meet him and play him in horse after he beat me I asked him to sign my shoes and he did do it I don't think I'll ever wear these again just because the signature is on there but this is probably a very underrated sneaker in my collection and I don't talk about this one enough so 
yeah, these are fire. You will notice that I get rid of a lot of shoes. So if you've watched one of my previous sneaker collection videos and you see a pair of or you don't see a pair of Jordans that I used to have, it's because I probably got rid of them, either donated them or traded them to get something else. That's something that I do often with my shoes. And there's actually a pair of shoes that's missing that you guys might notice is not here. And I'm not gonna say which one it is. We'll figure out what happened with that in a future video. But anyway, let's get back to where we were. OVO Jordans, of course, we have to have the OVO 12s right here. And we also have the OVO 10s. Now, I used to have all the OVOs. I used to have the OVO 8s. I used to have both the 10s. I used to have both the 12s. I got rid of all of them and I only kept these two right here. I don't know why I've done that. This is probably like one of the only dead stock shoes in my collection and I need to wear these. The 10s right here. Right, Mina agrees, shout out to Mina behind the camera. I think this one is probably the best OVO Jordan that they ever released. Not a PE, but the ones that actually released. This one right here. Of course, man, we got the, I'm gonna come out with the heat to start things off. We got the Kobe Bryant Jordan 8 right here. Probably one of the top five shoes I'll ever own. Like, I love this shoe. It's so crazy that Kobe, I have a Kobe Bryant Jordan PE. Like, it still blows my mind. Next up, we got the Travis Scott Jordan 4s right here. You will see a few Travis Scott's first Jordan that they did I believe this was the first Jordan that they did and uh, at first I didn't like these and I was kind of like on the edge about them but as soon as I had them in hand I fell in love with these shoes like these things are just beautiful the colorway is beautiful the quality is great the cactus jack on the back so fire I'm so happy to have these I would love to double up on these too mine are dead still hook your toe can fit in there yeah Cause fours, another sneaker that I definitely need to show more appreciation to. This collab haunts me because of the black pair that you guys know about, but <laughs> the gray pair is still a classic in my opinion. It's such, still such a good shoe, and sometimes I forget the bottom is glow in the dark. I think I forget that. I think a lot of people forget that the bottom is glow in the dark. Next up, we got the Levi Jordan 4s right here. Man, these are, these had a little bit of hype when they came out, but I feel like these should have way more hype, especially if you distress them. I feel like this is such a dope collaboration. It's on the tongue, like I thought that was a cool little hint. Of course, man, you're not a sneaker collector. You're not a sneaker head unless you have the bread 4s. You gotta have the bread 4s in your collection. No questions asked. Nike Air on the back. If you have the Jumpman version, that's okay, but the Nike Air version is the best. Cool Cool gray fours. I was so happy when I found out they were retroing these. Hit up my people over at Jordan Brand and I said, I'm going to the ESPYs. I need a pair of Jordans for the red carpet. Jordan Brand sent me these and uh, they kept me laced up for the ESPYs. So yeah, these are fire. I love this colorway. Another four right here. We got the winterized fours, AKA broke man's M&M fours because I don't ever think I'll own the M&M fours. So I'm happy with these. Another classic right here, the black cat fours. I love this shoe. This is equivalent to an all black Air Force One in my opinion if you know you know and then of course to cap off the fours we got the uh yeah you know it's funny anytime there's like a photo of these on the internet of like somebody else's pair uh crumbling people think it's mine they tag me like little jupiter just posted a picture of someone's who's cracking and uh people were tagging me thinking it was mine but no this has happened to many people i'm just one of the victims of course recent pickup you already know what it is dmp sixes i just posted a picture wearing these on my instagram and you guys went crazy with the likes on that one so shout out to everyone who follows me on instagram before we move forward guys before i show you guys the rest of the jordan collection we got to take a quick quick break to talk about our sponsor for today's video so we're going to talk about squarespace and then we'll come back and finish things up all right guys it is now time to talk about the sponsor of today's video squarespace squarespace is a super useful platform where you could build your own website blog online store for me personally this has always been a gray area i'm not really good at something like this but squarespace makes it super super easy to be able to control everything it's so easy to just edit and make your perfect website like i said you could do a blog you could do online store from color options to fonts to the whole interface is just super, super easy and user friendly. Some of my favorite features that I want to mention to you guys are the traffic overview. Basically, this gives you insight on what your audience is looking at, what your visitors are looking at from traffic flow to what products they're clicking on the most. It gives you insight on what people are interested in so that you could bring more of that to your page. You can also purchase domains directly through Squarespace. Something I love is the appointment scheduling. You can literally put all your appointments and schedule them. Your clients can 
could easily look at your schedule and find out when you're available or when certain classes or things are happening. And another cool thing is you can schedule posts as well. Like you don't even need to be on your computer setting it up. Like you could schedule when you want something to go live. Like I could be sleeping and it will post for me. So guys head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. That is right. A free trial right now. And you can actually save yourself 10% off by using my custom link, which is squarespace.com slash crew TV. And that's off your first website or domain. Obviously the link will be at the top of the description of this video. Again, a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I highly recommend you guys take advantage of this and start building your website now. All right guys, now back to the video. Off-white vibes, we got the off-white Jordan 5 right here, released from All-Star Weekend. I like this one, I, I like this because the Metallic 5 is one of my favorite fives ever and the fact that they did an off-white version is was super dope to me. Next up, we got the Trophy Room 5s. I called it, man. I told you guys that these were gonna go up in price. When I bought my pair, I got it for $400, $450 bucks. And I made a video telling you guys that these are gonna go up. These are so underrated. When people find out how good the quality is on this shoe, people are gonna start wanting it and that's exactly what happened right after the video now I'm not saying I'm the reason why these went up in price this shoe is fire now they go for over a thousand fifteen hundred dollars so yeah they killed it with the shout out to Marcus Jordan even though Marcus Jordan probably doesn't know who the hell I am but uh yeah only seven thousand pairs in the world I have four five zero three out of seven thousands another sneaker that Jordan brand blessed me with we got the PSG Jordan fives man I was so in shock when these showed up to my door I did not expect it I was coming back from my honeymoon we had a package waiting for me. I opened it up. I think you were sleeping at the time, so I couldn't like scream because I was like in shock that I got these. But yo, the Jordan brand family holds me down, and this is one of the shoes that uh, they blessed me with. All right, getting into the 11s right here. This is the Bread 11. This is not the newest release. This is the 2000 and 2012. 2012. This is the 2012 version. This was my first ever pair of 11s. I did have the newest release, but I got rid of them because I, to me, it was kind of pointless to have the new version and to have this version because I would want to wear this version more. I don't know. I just wanted to keep this one in my collection and get rid of that one. Of course, we got the Space Jams. You're probably wondering why I don't have the Concords and that's just because I decided to get rid of them. Space Jams and the Bread 11s are the two best in my opinion. Getting into some threes right here. One of the best threes of all time. Probably, <sighs> do I want to make this statement? This is my favorite three. You're tripping of all time. Take it back. I can't take it back because I love this. I love this one. I mean, this one, White Cement, this is probably the most iconic three just because of the, you know, the dunk contest, Jordan actually playing in these. But this one, oh, I love this one, man. But this one, but this one. My favorite are the Black Cement threes. The Black Cement threes. I don't have the Black Cement threes. I got rid of mine, but. What? This one, I'll never get rid of this one and I'll never get rid of this one. I actually want to double up in these ones because I wear, I wear these a lot. Okay, these two right here, the two best Jordan threes of all time. Not including any PEs because I have a PE yet that I'm gonna show you guys obviously. And then we got the Shy town Jordan 3s right here. I decided to put white laces in them and then I also, shout out to the homie who did this with me, we decided to swap one shoe so that it says Air Shy rather than both of them saying Shy or both of them saying Air. A little twist on it and uh, yeah, I like this dope colorway, all red vibes. Like I was saying, one of the best threes in my collection has gotta be the UNC 3s, not the pair that came out, this is the the actual PE right there. The pair that Jordan Brand blessed me with. Shout out to Jordan Brand again for looking out for the boy. Ugh, bro, like wh why? Why would Jordan Brand send me this? I don't know, but I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Like this is, this is beautiful. Thank you. Ew. What? Can't kiss my shoes? No, God. you walk on the ground with those. That's nasty. I didn't walk with the top of the shoe. I think we went through, oh, we got a Hold on, we got some more over here. Jordan 8s, we got the low top playoff 8s right here. Very underrated, I love the low top 8s. Used to have these in high school, and my pair that I had in high school got beat up, so recently, I think last year, maybe early last year, I found the pair on GOAT, so I pulled the trigger to get these. I wore them for my stance sock photo shoot, if you guys remember, so these are sick. I love this shoe, dope to have this in the collection. Travis 6s, we gotta show you the Travis 6s. Dope, dope 6 right here. Life hack, Jordan 6s. Is if you guys did not know, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. It has cardboard on the inside. Every single Jordan 6 has cardboard in the inside. That's always how it's been made, and for some reason, they've always kept it that way. And so, what does that mean for us as a consumer? As a
as a consumer, that means that you should do something to make them a little bit more comfortable because sixes, in my opinion, they don't last all day. Life hack, throw in a crepe protect insole. This new insole that they made, super, super comfortable. I throw these in all my sixes and it makes them way, way more comfortable. And this isn't even trying to be on some promo stuff. Like I really highly suggest you put some insoles in your sixes, even if it's not a crepe protect one, definitely it will make your shoe way more comfortable because think about it. You don't want to be walking on cardboard. Like as much as I love Jordan brand, it always pisses me off that they don't change that on the six, but it is what it is, man. So yeah, man, Travis sixes really happy to have these in the collection because I don't know. I, I fell in love with it from the first day that he wore it. And hopefully, hopefully the yellow pair comes out because I think those are so fire as well. Jordan brand just sent me these. This is like their new trainer shoe called like the alpha react or something like that. I really like these. I haven't had a chance to wear them. These are pretty fire. Shout out to JB for sending me these. Now this is technically not a Jordan, but it's a dunk that was inspired by the Jordan for white cement. So why not show it to you guys? It's uh, I'm not really into dunks like that, but there's a few pairs that I do have. And this is one that's super underrated. I got these for like 80 bucks off of goat dead stock. So there's actually a few Jordan dunks that they did do. So if you find them, you can get them for like under 200 bucks. So these things don't go for anything. And I think some of them are really dope. So yeah, this is the white cement one right here. Other than that, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Did I forget anything? Yeah, the rest are all Jordan ones. Like I said, I have a whole nother video for Jordan ones. So should I show some of your shoes or not? Nah, we'll save your shoes for another day. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for my Jordan collection. I hope you guys did enjoy. I appreciate you guys tuning in for another video here on the underdog season, man. We're trying to upload a new video every other day. So subscribe like this video let me know what you guys want to see next like I've done my Jordan 1 collection I did my Yeezy collection I did my entire Jordan collection what do you guys want to see next maybe my Air Forces maybe we'll do something with Mina's collection whatever you guys suggest we will make it happen comment section is down below I love you guys I appreciate you guys we'll see you guys on the next one I'm out of here dream crew dream crew dream crew they just want to do it how we do any last words Mina my collection is better than yours. <laughs>